Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to create an Excel document in ASP.NET Core using the Syncfusion.NET Excel library. The Excel library allows you to create, read, and edit Excel files. It also provides support for importing and exporting data, support Excel formulas, and converting Excel worksheets to image and HTML formats. You can find out more about other features of our Excel library by following the link in the card above. In this video, I will show you how to create an ASP.NET Core application in Visual Studio 2022 and add the Syncfusion Excel library to it. I will also demonstrate how to create a simple Excel document with text, images, and formulas. Before proceeding, make sure you have one of the following .NET SDKs installed on your machine. You should also have one of these IDEs installed. With that confirmed, let's start building the application. I open Visual Studio and create a new project from the project dashboard. From the list of project templates, I choose an ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller pattern. I name the project Getting Started and click the Next button. Then, I select the default target framework version and click Create button. Now, the project creation is complete and it is ready to use. To create an Excel document, first I need to install the Syncfusion Excel Library NuGet package. So, I open the NuGet package manager. In the Browse tab, search for syncfusion.xlsio.net.core and click Install. I will ensure that this is the latest version and read and accept the licensing terms before installing the package. This will install the package along with its dependencies. Now, the Syncfusion Excel Library NuGet package is installed. Next, we need to register the valid trial license key, so open the program class file and register your license key using the register license method. To know where to generate this license key, refer to the link in the description for this video. Look at this Excel document with text, images, and formulas. I am going to create a similar Excel document using the Syncfusion Excel library. Before demonstrating the Excel document creation process, I want to show you how it will be implemented in this application. The plan is to generate the Excel document when this button is clicked. First, I open the index.cshtml file and remove the existing code. Then I am going to generate the document by clicking the button. So, define a button component with the content, create document, and apply the style for the button. Okay, let me save the changes and run the application to see the output page. As you can see, the button component is displayed on the home page as I wanted. I am going to generate an Excel document by clicking this create document button. To do that, I already added the click event to the button with the event handler to create a document. And inside this code directive, I define the event handler. Within this event handler, I am going to invoke the methods to create and save the Excel document. So now I will proceed to write code to create an Excel document. Go to the home controller class and add the action method create document with a return type of action result. First, I create an instance of Excel engine. This is the main class that encapsulates the functionalities of XLSIO. Then I use the default version property of the iApplication interface to set the default file version of Excel to XLSX. This is an optional step, but it is required if you want to save the Excel file in XLSX format. If you do not set this property, then the default file version will be XLS. Let's see how to create a new workbook with a single worksheet and add a picture and text and then customize them. So, I create a new workbook by calling the create method on the workbook's property. The one parameter indicates that the workbook will initially have one worksheet. Then I retrieve the first worksheet of the workbook using the worksheets property. The zero index is used to access the first worksheet in the collection. Now, I'm going to show you how to add images and text with customization to the Excel sheet. So, I create a new file stream object to read the image file and pass the image file path as an argument. 
The file is opened with the specified access mode and read-only permissions. I add the picture to the worksheet using the add picture method of the pictures property. The method takes several parameters. 1 comma 1 specifies the row and column indices where the picture will be inserted. Image stream is the file stream object containing the image data and 20 comma 20 represents the width and height of the picture in points. Now, let's see how to do customization such as disabling the grid lines in the worksheet, formatting, entering values, and merging cells in a worksheet. I set the is grid lines visible property of the worksheet object to false. This disables the display of grid lines in the worksheet, making them invisible. Then I assign the text to cell A3 in the worksheet. I use the range property of the worksheet object to specify the cell and then set the text property to the desired value. In the same way, I assign text to cells A4 and A5 in the worksheet. Next, I want to apply bold formatting to the text in the cell range from A3 to A5. I use the range property to specify the range. And then I set the cellstyle.font.bold property to true. Now, I want to merge the cells in the range D1 to E1. This will combine these cells into a single merged cell. I use the range property to specify the range. And I call the merge method to perform the merge operation. Then I enter the text invoice into cell D1 of the worksheet. I have defined font styles to customize the text invoice. And, to align the text, I set horizontal alignment to the right and vertical alignment to the top. Similarly, I also populate the values for other cells with customization like setting text and values, cell style color, font color, font bold, and cell style alignments. Each cell receives the specific text values. Next, let's see how to create a hyperlink to an email address in cell A13 of the worksheet. I create a new hyperlink object and associate it with the range represented by cell A13 in the worksheet. And set the hyperlink type to URL, indicating that the hyperlink will be a web URL or email address. Then I set the address of the hyperlink to stein at greatlakes.com which is the email address that the hyperlink used to populate the defield in a new, empty email message. I set the screen tip of the hyperlink to send mail. The screen tip is the text that appears when you hover over the hyperlink, providing additional information or a description. So far I have shown you how to add images and text to the Excel document. Let's proceed to add formulas to it. So, I am going to merge the cells in the A and B columns like this. And added product and price details in the cells. Now I'm going to show you how to apply number formatting and formulas in the worksheet. I'm going to apply formatting for two decimal places to the range of cells from D16 to E22. This format specifies that the numbers should be displayed with a dollar sign and two decimal places. I also apply the same number format to cell E23. Next, I enable incremental formulas in the application. Incremental formulas allow formulas to be automatically adjusted when inserting or deleting rows or columns. I apply the formula to the range of cells from E16 to E20. The formula multiplies the value in column C with the value in column D to calculate the amount. Then I apply the sum formula to cell E23. The formula calculates the sum of the values in the range E16 to E22, giving the total amount. Finally, let's see how to save the Excel workbook to a memory stream and prepare it for download in the browser. I create a new memory stream object to store the Excel data and save the workbook to a memory stream. Then I create a file stream result object, specifying the memory stream and the content type as application slash Excel, and setting the desired file name for the downloaded file. Now, I return the file stream result, triggering the download in the browser.
After running the application, you will see the Create Document button on the output page. The Excel document is downloaded when you click the Create Document button. Open the downloaded document and you will see the invoice worksheet. Now, you can see the Excel document with text, images, and formulas. Next, I am going to show you how to edit an Excel document. Before creating an edit button, I add the already created Excel document to the project. Then, I create another button component with the content edit document and apply the style for the button. In this edit document method, I set up the basic configuration for the Excel engine and application. I will show you how to open an existing workbook, access a worksheet, and modify a cell within it. Here, a file stream object named InputStream is created to read the existing workbook file named InputTemplate.xlsx. The file is opened in read mode. The open method is called on the workbook's property of the Excel application to open the workbook. The input stream is passed as a parameter to read the workbook file. The returned iWorkbook object represents the opened workbook. Once the workbook is opened, you can access its worksheets. Here, the first worksheet is accessed by using an index of zero in the worksheets collection of the workbook. The returned iWorksheet object represents the first worksheet. With the worksheet object, you can access and modify the cells. Here, I set the text Hello World to cell A3 using the text property of the cell range. Finally, I save the modified workbook to a memory stream and then download it as an Excel file. The Excel file will be named editExcel.xlsx in this case. After running the application, you will see the Edit Document button on the output page. The Excel document is downloaded when you click the Edit Document button. Open the downloaded document and you will see the invoice document with edited content. In this video, I have shown you how to create an ASP.NET Core application, how to install the Syncfusion XLSIO.NET Core NuGet package, and how to create, read, and edit Excel documents using the Syncfusion Excel library. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description for this video. I have also shared a link where you can learn about obtaining a free license key to use our file format products through our community license. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.